isn't just the caterpillars, it is also um, slugs. How many are in four? So that means there are three out. Tricks are getting a move today. This is going to be interesting because they're going to the top of the hill and this was built for a backyard. So this could be a very telling experience of um, things we need to consider building in the future. going up there and we have some sheep in the way what are you doing man It's definitely uh, work keeps you fit for sure. Cool, so we're, we're um, whew, I gotta catch my breath. We've decided to put the chooks up here at the orchard. This is our European tree fruit orchard. There's only four trees here, but like, you know, we dream big. Um, right next to the sheep. We're putting them up here because we want to start the process of having the chooks following the sheep um, to even further cut down on the um, issues that can come from having only one animal on your property. Um, we don't really know what happened to Alfie. It wasn't parasites, which is really good because I was, I thought it, I'd let her down, but no, it was just one of those things, which is good. Um, but that doesn't mean, it was kind of a, like a kick in the guts to be like, well, we should just do this anyway because we don't want to lose an animal to parasites. So doing this kind of solves a few pro different problems because we do have um, a slightly aggressive rooster. He hasn't been aggressive for a very long time, but we just don't want to take any chances anymore. So he's going to be penned up with a flock following the sheep, which will be serving a purpose. And then we can just go get some hens. This can be the rooster flock and we can get some hens to free range the yard because we just love that for us. That's the, that's the job they serve us. It's just walking around the yard, pecking on stuff. It's just so wholesome. Those little ones are running off. Those are the escape artists. We'll see how that goes. Beautiful. The chooks have food. The chooks have water. They've got everything they need. They've got bugs. We may have to keep an eye on this. This one tree is in here with the chooks. So this will be a little experiment to see how strong of an age they're at. 
Um, but we can just protect that. And the tree's do going dormant anyway. But man, this is really nice. Like, there's just something really pleasant about setting up a, a new chook pen where they have a specific job to do. I really enjoyed building the garden with them. Stick. Hi. Lovely. We've got the chickens in a new area today. So now we've got the chickens, the sheep, and the bees. <laughs> all in this one really cute little area. It's kind of fun seeing all the animals united <laughs> in one place. And then of course, we are looking down at the garden just there. But anyways, we've got to let the chicks out. Oh, that's clever. You can see him clever, everyone. Eris! Eris! <laughs> no eggs. That out too. Not sure if Sam's mentioned it or not, but he did put up the electric fence and electrify it this time because the chickens are so much further away from the house. So just in case with foxes and anything else, we want to make sure to keep them as safe as we can. Oi, stop harassing the ladies. Of course, the first place they go is to the cherry tree. One of the reasons why we didn't put these ones into the net in the end. Hi. Oh, such scary cats. Hey, have a lovely morning. <laughs> I am putting this garden to bed at the moment. So I've got some cardboard down. I need to fluff up the soil and then cover it with some new wood chips, which Sam got for me. What a champ. Um, but let's show you around. Some things are still covered up while they're young. Potatoes are doing fantastic. Look at this. And then as far as this bed goes, I've just been coming over and picking off, here's some, the caterpillars. But the problem isn't just the caterpillars, it is also um, slugs, which I see so many at night time. Anyways, let's have a search through and pick off any that we see. Try to get rid of all of these dead leaves as well so that the plant's not putting energy into them. Sometimes they're really hard to spot. A good trick is to look within the leaves, like in these really young ones is where I normally find them. Bit of a clean up day today, guys. So today, yesterday was my busy day. Today I'm doing some music, uh, you know, bit of this, bit of that. So today I'm just coming out to finish jobs that I've half started. I'm really good at that. Look at this. All right, so I've got wood chips right here that need to be put on the ground so I can go get more wood chips. I've got a chook fence on the ground and down the hill, remember a couple of weeks ago, I cut up a whole bunch of 
wood, but I haven't been able to get my truck down there to collect it because of the fence. So. When you're rolling up these fences, you want to roll from the, the loose end. You don't want to roll from the end that has the poles on it. The chances of it tangling are like a thousand times worse. How strange. Do you hear that? A rooster just jumped out of the trip pen. It's a bit annoying. I think the fence might still have been on. He did make a bit of a fuss. How many are in? Four. So that means there are three out. Hey, these guys aren't used to being uh, pen chooks. Hmm. What are you doing, mate? Such a weirdo. All right, well, we'll just let him do his thing, I guess. Oh, God. Just knock this over. That's not good. Put that in there. Yep. It's chaos around here. All right. We'll let him do his thing. Um, yeah, he's the man of the hen, so he'll go back to the fence and start patrolling it, and then I'll be able to catch him. Um, wood chips. How do you reckon I'm going to go getting it back up the hill? Fine. We're betting on fine.
Hey guys, you watching the show? Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Good job, bud. All you. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, bud. Yeah, come on. Well, that feels good. I got all the jobs I wanted to get done and I did an extra one and I found a better spot for our wood than we've ever had it before. That's perfect. Nice out of the way. I haven't used up any, like, just got under the tree. I'm glad that's worked out like that. I'm actually planning on putting a fire pit right over there so I can do outdoor cooking. So that's ideal for our fireplace. I said this day was gonna be like half music, half chores and it's like two o'clock now. So <laughs> I get a, a little bit of an afternoon. I'm gonna have to take a smidge of tomorrow, I reckon. Oh, but good productive day, beautiful autumn weather. Yeah. Kind of don't want to stop. 